How to connect CJ dropshipping to eBay. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your CJ dropshipping platform or account to your eBay selling account. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to cjdropshipping.com, create an account within it and you will be good to go. The second step is to go to ebay.com, also connect your account, then you are simply going to click on sell right here on the header or the menu of the header right there. And now we are going to get the store number or the store tag. Simply go on, on my eBay and click on summary. And as you can see, here we have the store tag. Go ahead and copy it, for example, like that, copy, go back to CJ dropshipping and from there we are simply going to extend this menu right there and search for stores. I'm going to simply to search for my stores or authorization like this. Click on it and see here we have a lot of providers or marketplaces. We are simply going to select eBay. Click on eBay and now we are going to authorize our eBay merchant account to be connected to our CJ dropshipping. And here we are going to set add a store. Simply go ahead and click on add store. And from now it will demand you the authorization either with the store tag that we have copied in case, or it will read up automatically the account that you have set on the navigator. As you can see, it has read the navigator. I'm going to click on agree and continue and simply we are going to make everything here. Authorization success and as you can see everything is set up. Now we have the next steps. Either you can go ahead and fulfill your stores order now within a CJ dropshipping or automate it. Also you can list a CJ product to your store or you can connect your products to CJ so as to automatically import store orders. I'm going simply right there to list some products. Click on list now. And from here, we have the CJ dropshipping marketplace. You are simply going to select a product. Then we will see if it will be added to our eBay account. Go ahead right there and select any product that you want. Let's say that we are going to add this a juicer or this, let's see here, this is a juicer. Click on it and now we are going to select that product. You can go ahead and add this product manually. This is the long method by going to eBay, then simply go to sell again and you are going to add a listing or list an item, click on it and now we are going to choose the item, for example, let's say that we are going to copy that uh, here, charging, USB charging, copy that title, uh, put it right there, paste it, click on search, and you are going to put in you, continue to listing, and simply you are going to create that item from scratch. You can go ahead and add the videos or the photos, go ahead and uh, put the photos as you can see download them and add them manually or you can get that video right there simply download it and add it as a video we have the title the lists right here you can go ahead and put the brand the power supplies or source and the appliances you can go ahead and ch check those for fast uh, listing or you can go ahead and put the manual item category the item specifics and also the additional information, the conditions and the description. You can get all of these from CJ dropshipping. It will provide everything from there. And we have the pricing. You can go ahead and put the pricing right here. We have $2.99. You can set it to, for example, $29.99 or something like that. And for the shipping, you are going to set the shipping since we are going to fulfill automatically these products from CJ. Now that was for the manual method. You can go right there to the automatic method, which is going to add to my products. You can get, go to add my products or list it from here. Now 
when you click on list, go ahead and here you can go and customize the product details. And here we have the store selection. Click on it and it will let you see. As you can see now, we have two stores. I have connected already my Shopify store and here we have the eBay store. Now, please make sure the total quantity of the product list does not exceed the listing limits on eBay as products. Now we have the uh, item left to list on eBay. Simply we are going to reduce the quantity of that product so we will not exceed the uh, quantity listed from eBay for each month. When you click on sell, it will let you see here the maximum quantity that you are going to sell. And for our case, it is 250 for every month. This is for the free version. So simply you are going to put the, as you can see, the payment method, for example, PayPal or Payoneer, the shipping method on eBay, you can go ahead and put any shipping method, the brand, you can put any brand right there and the tags, you can also add them. You have the category, the title, the listing site, as you can see, you can put the listing site and here we have the synchronization. You have to synchronize everything right there and put the quantity to the minimum. Here we have the, as you can see, the variant pricing. You can go ahead and put the pricing right there and the inventory. Now, the listing quantity, I'm going to simply to put here 20. I'm going to put 20 there and 20 for this one. I'm going to put a total of 60. So here we have the uh, price. We have the total drop shipping price. It is set to 20, uh, 15. I'm going to put it as bulk for 29.99. Click on OK and it will set everything. Now we have here the images and the videos and we have the description. Here we have the videos, the description right there. Simply I have uh, this one. You can go ahead and put uh, this one or delete that one. It is up to you. The video is unavailable currently. Now we are going to the description. Read that description and put whatever you want for the description. You can add some elements, make some changes or delete some elements also. When you finish everything right here, click simply on list it now. It will take a few seconds right there and our listing has filled. Here we can go ahead and see the, uh, the additional information about to create the seller account to some of the quantities that are variation. Here it is a question of a quantity because the quantity right here, as you can see, we have inventory of 13,000 pieces and the listing quantity is set to 20. So you cannot put this and you are simply going to uh, contact the uh, warehouses and you will set everything right there. Here we have the item left to list on eBay. You have to set everything in order because here it is zero, we cannot exceed that. So it will not let us go ahead and put the list right now. And for that, you can go ahead and add the details manually. So everything you are going to set right here from manual methods. That was very simple. Here it is uh, up to you to put or list an item manually. You can put the quantity to 200 or set the uh, items as we said before to 20 pieces for each, for example, variant like that because this source will provide you more than enough for your free plan, which is 250 pieces. And in case, if you want to increase that number, you are simply going to click on sell on eBay and then simply go right there, selling as a business. You are going to click on learn more. And finally, we are going to set the business account. This business account will let you get over uh, the limitation of the products set up. And here, click on start selling. You have to provide the business account information for the business name, business email, password, where is the business or your business registered. And I am only interested in buying on eBay for now. For example, this is for the case if you don't want to put this. And finally, you can go ahead and put whatever you want here. For example, I'm going to put it right there and simply are going to set up this and you will exceed the limitation and you will let only the CJ dropshipping products that have a lot of 
uh, items in the inventory to be set up automatically. And also for the fulfillment, here it is very easy. You can go ahead right there and put the automatic fulfillment for your products. For example, when you click on my products right there, and you will see here the list of the products that you have liked. Now, to automate the process of the CJ fulfillment, you are simply going to select that product. Then, for example, this is the juicer and click on the three dots right there and simply you are going to put it when it is listed. Go ahead and click on store products when you finish the listing and it will show up the product that is available and match from the store that you have and also the CJ drop shipping marketplace. As you can see, I have already a store name. This is the Shopify, a store product and a CJ product. This is the match between them. When you click on the three dots, you will see here CJ fulfillment. You can go ahead and apply this CJ fulfillment to put it only for Shopify. But unfortunately, this is set only for Shopify and for the manual, uh, fulfillment from eBay it is a set for you to set the uh, fulfillment from eBay that was all for today's video I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one